Hello, crafting crew. How is everyone today? I'm gonna get my camera set up. Let's see, this is the fourth craft. I was looking at my calendar. This is the fourth craft of April, no, of March. This will be a last March craft. And we're doing something a little different today. You should have a bag with some cardstock and there are a couple of circles sort of cut out like this. I'm not sure that you have as many little bumps on yours as I did um, on mine. I gave you two to start with. I gave you some cardstock so you can cut some more out. I cut mine out using these fancy scissors here at my house. Um, if you look really close, you can see what um, the blades of the scissors will cut out. Yours were cut out with a paper punch. Oh, it's a big paper punch. Um, I didn't use that here at my house. I just traced a circle and then I used these scissors to cut out different um, shapes. You can see this one has big bumps and this one on black cardstock has a bunch of little bumps. See the difference? I gave you some yarn. Yarn is not the best thing to use on this because these papers are kind of flimsy, but I also gave you some embroidery floss. That's what this purple stuff is. This will work really well. At my house, I had some black string that I used. This is from jewelry, my jewelry making um, supplies. I also have, you might have this, this is just kite string. This will work really, really well also. Um, and that's it. You're not going to need to use glue. Um, you might want some tape. I found it easier to tape the string to the back um, when you were doing this. So I'll show you um, some that I made. Here's one I made on the black paper. This is called Spirelli Art. Reminds me of a spirograph. Have you ever played with a spirograph? where you put your pen in it and you go all around in the circle. It makes a really cool design like that. So that's the first one I did. And this one I did, these reminded me of flowers. That's why I, when I found this online, I thought these were really cool. It made me think of flowers. Um, I have never heard of this. It's the first time I've ever done it myself. It's the first time I've done it with kids. I'm reading from my other monitor. It says the history of it. Um, string art has its origins in the curve stitch activities invented by Mary Everest Bowl at the end of the 19th century to make mathematical ideas more accessible to children. It was popularized as a decorative craft in the late 1960s through crafts and books. I've never heard of it, but it's pretty simple. All you need is some cardstock and some string. So I'm gonna sh um, switch the cameras and I will show you how I did this. All right, actually I can probably move the camera down a little bit so that you can see my desk. All right. So I'm gonna do this obviously on the black one because you won't, uh, the white string won't show up. I would imagine if you did this with different colors of cardstock, you could make a lot of really cool patterns and different string and make a whole bunch of flowers, right? I think it's pretty neat. First thing I'm going to do is just take a piece of scotch tape and I'm going to tape that down. And I'll show you the back of it. So you have two pieces of tape on there. One tapes the beginning, one tapes the end. There's another one. So those are the backs of those. I would um, Start with the yarn and start with one um, that has less. If you're cutting out your own, start with one that doesn't have so many little bumps on it. It will be easier to maneuver. This is the one um, that I started with. 
and it just makes it easier to get the hang of it. If you pull too hard on the string as you're wrapping, you will notice that your paper is going to bend. So um, practice with the yarn a couple of times. You might find it easier to go along. In fact, with little kids, you might even want to cut um, some of these out of cardboard and let them practice with that. The, the only thing you do with this is wind your string around and go to each little bump, as it were. And you, I'm just going around every one of them. You might figure out a different pattern to do at your house. If you have different color string, you might want to try that. Like if I had different color string, I might want to stop, tape this and cut it. And then do a second color in there. So I did one, two, three, four, five. So now what if I wanted to do five purple ones? Oh, I don't have enough purple string, but that would be kind of cool, huh? Maybe you want to try skipping one, right? So maybe I want to skip one in between and see how that looks. I think I'll just keep going on this. Oh, my tight string fell down. That's all right. So I wonder if I could do this all the way around with white. Oh, see, I was getting too tight. I have to loosen my hold a little bit because I don't want my paper to bend and then go back with a different color embroidery floss. And do the ones that I skipped. That would be neat, huh? So see how each one of these is different? This has the same pattern, the white one, but because I skipped one in between, it gives me a bigger space than this one did. And this one has bigger bumps and I went alternating. So side, 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 that's what makes the spiral, the spiral one. But you could experiment at your house and see how it looks, you could go back and do it again and hit all the spaces that you skipped and see what pattern that makes. This is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna take this one apart and we'll try a different pattern. You can work all kinds of concepts into this. Colors, shapes, number counting, predictions, what will happen, what will it look like? So I'm gonna skip one, two, three, four. 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 Might be helpful if you draw lines on it, especially if you have white. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Look what happens when I skip four. Oh, look at that. Gives you a totally different look, doesn't it? This is actually pretty cool, and I don't know why I never heard of it before. Looks like a star, doesn't it? 
wonder what other pattern you can figure out at your house. Hopefully you'll have fun with this and maybe you will send me a picture of what you did. Huh. I was just winding it around, seeing what I could come up with. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Who would have thought with just a circle and some thread? This I think would be a great rainy day activity. So send me a picture. Let me know what you did. It's pretty neat. I like how I made a diamond. See, sort of a square sort of a diamond. Hmm. It's pretty neat. So anyway, that's called Spirelli String Art. And if you look in your bag on the sheet that I gave you that has every week's activity, there should be some links on there. And you can find some videos online. Actually, you could you don't need me to find them. You could probably find them yourself. Just type in Spirelli, it's S-P-I-R-E-L-L-I, -L -L -I, string art, and I bet you'll come up with all kinds of videos. So, hey, I hope you have fun with that. <laughs> Let me know what you did. What's, what's your pattern? Send me a picture. Thanks for crafting with me today. Bye, guys.